It's Mac Byron from Lake Norman. I'm sitting here in my man chair on the back porch, which is enclosed. There's 53 in here and probably about 38 outside. The lake, I can see it right now, is fairly smooth with just a little ripple here and there from the wind, not much. I had a minor, if you want to call it that, uh, ladder cancer operation on January the 5th this year, and I'm in a rest period to get over it. I'm not supposed to <coughs> excuse me, do much. Can't lift over 10 pounds. Can't jog. A bunch of other stuff. But the strange thing happened after I got out of the hospital. I left with a uh, catheter running up my urethra up to my bladder and draining the uh, urine out, went into a bag. Well, between the catheter and the bag was some uh, soft plastic tubing. And I kept looking at that, and then the old fisherman got into me, and I says, hey, they'll make good drift rates. Weights. So there's one. Here's six others, but I've got different sizes. And I crimp off the end, heat it, and then take a ply pair of pliers and put a lot of pressure on it. And it will seal it. Inside is uh, something like a BB. This is about a quarter, but I mean, yeah, a quarter of an ounce. This is three quarters of an ounce. So, a good friend of mine, Mac Little, gave me some pressure lock snaps from uh, made or sold by Cabela's. I'm sure Bass Pro has it. You old type snaps, like this red one, they have a little nipple inside of them. And if you've ever watched a video of a fisherman, after he pulls the planer board, he spends several seconds or so trying to get the line out of this snap. It's not easy. Here's what Mac Little gave me. Uh, as I said, you can buy them from uh, Cabela's. Your line goes through. Let me pull this back. This is a locking thing. Put your line in there, and then you push this up over it. And then when you get your uh, board up to the boat, only thing you got to do is flip that, and this comes off. And man, it is a great help. While I'm on planer boards, I use mine not only for catfish. By the way, Mac Little made these boards. Uh, he gave me four pair. Also, Dan McGuire, I think he gave me a pair. But uh, if you're going, let's say, a uh, half mile an hour catfishing, these boards will stay pretty straight uh, with no major weight on them. But if you want to fish for hybrids or white perch and uh, power drift with your trolling motor, these boards will turn over on the side like this. And that way you don't have to pull out that you would have if it was doing right. So, I 
found these tire weights, and you can order them online at CK Auto. You might be able to find them at uh, Walmart. I'm not sure. And uh, mom and pop uh, uh, tire places. What this does, now this is uh, quarter ounce, quarter ounce, quarter ounce, quarter ounce. You got one, one ounce on the back. And rather than falling over, this weight on the back keeps your board straight on the water. Also, I made up some uh, umbrella rigs. Usually, you just throw them in the boat, they get all tangled up, and you got to go through the process of uh, untangling. Or if some of them touch together, the rubber has some type of chemical uh, action and just melts your sulfates. So I got the smart idea of just using a quart Ziploc bag. They fit right in. Uh, these are the small ones, and I catch large white perch on these right here. This is your typical hybrid bait. It's a, a eight to a quarter ounce head, which is this, and then you use a white grub with a yellow tail. Really, it's yellowish orange or chartreuse. This is using something similar to what a roadrunner is. And I try to rig my stuff up so I can catch hybrids and white perch. And you catfish them and know why I want the white perch. The big ones I fillet and eat, the small ones I say for uh, uh, catfish bait. This is another one set up for hybrids. That's all, except telling you I'm doing well. Uh, the cancer tumor was uh, carcinoma, low grade, and I do yearly checkups uh, and everybody should do this because it was caught on the year, yearly catch up uh, inspections but now that I have a recent occurrence I go on a six month schedule I think for three years and I've been going through this since 2001. And I have a lot of friends that had bladder cancer uh, that did not go with the protocol I've gone with. And they are no longer here with us. And it's, it's a shame that they didn't seek uh, expert medical help rather than uh, depending on the family doctor. I think that's all I've got. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye.